Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ and all my friends. Welcome to morning prayer. This is Monday, the 29th week in ordinary time. Our morning prayer begins on page 646. Today is also the memorial of St. James of Jerusalem. Let's begin our day together in prayer. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm and keep us from evil. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Lord God, mighty King, you love justice and establish equity. May we love justice more than gain and mercy more than power. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saints of God, their conflict past and life's long battle won at last. No more they need the shield or sword. They cast them down before the Lord. O oh, happy saints forever blessed. At Jesus' feet, how safe your rest. The saints of God their vigil keep, while yet their mortal bodies sleep, till from the dust they too shall rise, and soar triumphant to the skies. O happy saints, rejoice and sing, he quickly comes, our Lord and King. O saints of God, to thee we cry, O Savior, Plead for us on high. O Spirit, bless our guide and friend. Grant us thy grace till life shall end, that with all saints our rest may be in that bright paradise with thee. The Lord is King. Let the nations tremble. He sits on his throne between the cherubim. Let the whole earth quake. The Lord sits in majesty in Jerusalem, exalted above all the nations. Let them praise your great and awesome name. Your name is holy. Mighty King, lover of justice, you have established fairness. You have acted with justice and righteousness throughout Israel. Exalt the Lord, our God. Bow low before his feet, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel also called on his name. They cried to the Lord for help, and he answered them. He spoke to Israel from the pillar of cloud, and they followed the laws and decrees he gave them. O Lord our God, you answered them. You were a forgiving God to them, but you punished them when they went wrong. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain in Jerusalem, for the Lord our God is holy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our scripture reading is from Acts chapter 2. On Pentecost, Peter preached, Repent of your sins and turn to God, and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then they will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Those who believed what Peter said were baptized. A deep sense of awe came over them all, and the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. And all the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. They sold their property and possessions and shared the money with those in need. They worshipped together at the temple each day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy and generosity, all the while praising God. Blessed are you, God of Israel, forever and ever. For yours is the greatness, the power, the glory, the victory, the majesty. Everything in the heavens and on earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head over all. Riches and honor come from you, 
and you rule over all. In your hand are power and might. Yours it is to give power and strength to all. Now, therefore, O oh God, we give you thanks and praise your glorious name that you first gave to us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the morning we call to you, O Lord, be merciful and hear our prayer. You desire to share every aspect of our life, save sin. Lord Jesus, have mercy on us. You called us to love your Father, one another, ourselves, with a perfect love. Lord Jesus, make us holy. You commissioned us to be the salt and light for our world. Lord Jesus, let your light shine on and through us. You desire to be served and but serve. Lord Jesus, help us to give humble service to you and to our neighbors. You share the radiant glory of the Father as you sit enthroned in the kingdom. Lord Jesus, bring us with your saints to see the glory of your face. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Heavenly Father, you raised up James the Just, the brother of our Lord, to shepherd and guide your church in Jerusalem. Grant that we may follow his example of prayer and reconciliation and be strengthened by the witness of his death. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have beheld his glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways and our day in his peace. And may souls of the faithful departed, through the mercies of God, rest in peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning in prayer. What a blessing it is to know that some of us do pray together with one another, for one another, on behalf of one another. So many are sick this day and need our prayers. My brother is in the hospital. As I mentioned last night, he had a stroke yesterday, and he's in Madison. I'll go see him today. And I pray that you offer your prayers for us together, and for him especially. Watch over us, Lord, grant us grace and peace, and help us be a blessing to those around us. Amen.